Hello and welcome to another episode here on my channel. My name is Kaya Small and today we have the news that the Finnish studio Mainframe is apparently working on an MMO for the Xbox Game Studios. And this news first broke thanks to the report of Jess Gordon on the Xbox 2 podcast. And then Mr. Jeff Grubb from uh, VentureBeat was also like listening to her sources and apparently they were also confirming what was going on. So the working title for this MMO is called PAX Day. And it's something that people on the Xbox team are excited about for multiple reasons. So this would be an MMO which is focusing on the cloud aspect. And it basically means that players can access the same game through any device. The studio is also exploring potential gameplay mechanics that can only work in the game that exists primarily on a remote server. One key concept, however, is that the mechanic scale in terms of complexity. While anyone can do anything in PAX Day on any device, certain tasks will make more sense depending on where you are playing. So let me give you an example here. If you are on a phone at work, you can open up the game, quickly do some crafting or resource farming. Then when you get home to your PC or console, you can take on some of the more complex missions like let's say raids. And this is really important for Xbox and Microsoft, of course, because they are focusing more and more on the cloud. And if they could showcase one of the most complex or considered one of the most complex gaming ideas, which is an MMO, they could just say, look at this. This is a game, which is an MMO, which runs completely in the cloud and it works. And this is also important because if you didn't know or if you haven't heard about this, apparently Microsoft is in the talks with Hideo Kojima to work on a sole cloud-based game. Now, they haven't really signed a contract or anything. There is a letter of intent, which they apparently signed, but they haven't really started anything yet. So if they could showcase something to Kojima and other uh, developers out there like, hey, look at this. This is an MMO, one of the most complex things out there. And it runs completely in the in the cloud, right? And this is, by the way, a picture, apparently. This is a render of um, the game, this is from the official mainframe website. And if you're like mainframe, mainframe, who's that? I have never heard of them. They're new. They, they haven't done really anything. They have veteran developers, but they are basically a studio of uh, veteran developers who came together and now they're working apparently on an MMO for Xbox. And as I said, like this is a very, very important thing for them right? Like MMOs have always been more cloud-based. Like even the back in the past MMOs like Dark Age of Camelot, EverQuest and World of Warcraft even, even more so now, they always were server-based. Sure, things happened on the client side, aka your PC, but most of the time if an MMO did it right, most of the things happened on the server. Now, if they could just take everything from the client and put it on the server itself, that would be a huge boon because there are restrictions. There are absolute restrictions to client-based MMOs. One of the biggest one is the amount of NPCs and players you can put on the screen, right? Like the more people you have, the more problematic it becomes, the better the PC has to be. And there is an upper limit how far a PC can go before it just runs like crap. Like New World has the problem. Or have a look at Albion Online. 
Albion Online is putting a massive amount of players on your screen. But then you look at the game and you are like, yeah, that, um, that looks interesting, to say the least. Or if you want to go to the other spectrum, look at Black Desert Online. Black Desert Online looks gorgeous. But the more people are coming on the screen and the more things are happening, a lot of PCs have problems, right? Or if you want to get an example of a now nearly cloud-based MMO, which is only like, what, 50 megabytes on your PC, EVE Online. EVE Online nearly completely switched to a cloud-based system. So when you are now downloading EVE Online nowadays, you are downloading like a few megabytes and everything else is now in the cloud. Which makes sense because if you're looking to what EVE Online is doing sometimes with the amount of ships on the screen, like, oh, <laughs> oh, it's, it's something, all right. So having an MMO, which is completely cloud-based, is doable, very much so. But especially for Microsoft, who is now a cloud-first company in its own, this has huge implications on what they want to do further down the line. Now keep in mind before all the naysayers coming about and they are like, oh no, this means Microsoft wants to get rid of all the normal video games. <sighs> no, no it doesn't, at least not in the long run. But just to have a proof of concept that completely cloud-based games are possible and they might actually open up gameplay elements you are not possible to do because again a server is 10 times better <laughs> 10 times doesn't even cut it like a hundred times better than your home group pc and they can even connect them to make them even better right like the limit you have with a server is so much higher than a normal PC. And just having a proof of concept, what they can show around to other developers and be like, yeah, know this game? Huh? Yeah, this game is completely running on the cloud. So maybe you want to work with us to create a game which wouldn't be possible on the consoles in its own or wouldn't be even be possible on the PC. So come to us, make a contract with us, and we'll work together. That's basically the long plan on what they have here, right? Yeah, if you want, uh, Sakura just said that, uh, one of my viewers here uh, in the chat, like, look at Microsoft Flight Simulator. Sure, Flight Simulator is not completely set in the cloud. You can play offline. But the difference between what you were seeing offline and what you were seeing when you were connected to the internet with the cloud is just gigantic. It's such a huge difference. And yeah. And again, like I know there will be concerns with, but what is when my internet doesn't work? Well, it's an MMO. Like since 1998 or 1996, whenever the first MMO came out, you needed an internet connection to play MMOs. Like that is, that is not a new addition. That has always been the case. So don't you think too much about that. But this is exciting. Now, when does the game come out? Maybe in three years, if we are lucky. Like if they are literally just at the beginning and we are talking about an MMO, like a normal MMO, um, well, Star Citizen aside, takes about five years 
four to five years to be developed. Um, so if they just started this year, or maybe last year, maybe if we are lucky, 2025. Yeah. So don't hold your breath. You, you can basically forget this for now and then come back in like three years or something and be like, oh yeah, I remember this news. And then you should be good. But with that said, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and you're on your way out, please don't forget to leave a like. If you didn't like this video for whatever reason, well, a dislike button is right next to it. And if you're new to the channel, you want to see more gaming news, reaction videos, tips and tricks to new games coming out, and basically the whole gaming shebang, then I would also appreciate if you might consider to subscribe to the channel. If you do so, I really do appreciate that. Please don't forget to click the bell icon, because if you don't do that, you might have subscribed to my channel, but you don't get any notifications that I uploaded a new video, and then that would be, like, not very helpful. Yeah, it's how YouTube works. Don't ask. If you ever want to catch me live, you can do so from Monday to Friday, starting at 9 a.m. East Coast time, which is 2 p.m. UK time and 3 p.m. Central European time over there at trovo.live. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe. See you next time.